I literally feel like a noob right now. All right, good afternoon, guys. Right now, I am in Seoul, and today I'm gonna go and see a PC bank. Um, it's kind of like a cyber, cyber cafe, internet cafe, where you can go and play computer games. Frankly, I know nothing about gaming or anything. I'm just doing this solely as a tourist activity and to show you guys what it's like. So the place I'm going apparently is one of the best in Seoul. Uh, it's above a shopping mall or something like that. So I'm going to head over there on the metro and I'll catch up with you guys when I get there. Alright, so I just got off the train. There it goes, I think I'm at the right station. I found this pretty cool vending machine, it's got a lot of things in it. Chewing gums. Some kind of chocolate things. Hockey sticks. Covid masks. I think I need to go upstairs this way. So that journey cost me 1,351, which is about a, just under a pound. And it was a 40 minute ride on the train. How much would that cost in the UK? Probably about three pounds. It's crazy. And the quality here is much higher. They have Wi-Fi on every single train, which is amazing. Oh, and the Wi-Fi is free if you have a, if you're a subscriber of the network. I think there's three main networks here and you can connect to the Wi-Fi and it automatically connects using your SIM card in some way, I don't know I don't know exactly how it works but I put the SIM card in my phone connects to the Wi-Fi and it just works I think it's in one of these buildings somewhere It's called Lot A, there we go I don't know if you can see it there It's called LOL Park which I think it actually stands for League of Legends, but I'm not sure. I, I, I don't know anything about gaming. I literally know nothing. Apart from... I used to play Counter-Strike, CS 1.6, but nothing beyond that. How cool is this coffee shop? Jeez. Right, let's get inside here. Where, where is the entrance to this mall? Ah, yeah, Lowell Park, third floor. Good. It'll be interesting to see this place. As I've no idea what to expect. I think you can order food to your table, which is pretty cool. All right, there you go, Lowell Park. Me too. It's a national holiday today, but I was like, why would it be closed? This is the time to make money. Oh, it looks full and everyone's playing games. What on earth am I seeing here? I don't see any free chairs either, which is another problem. Let's take a walk around and see the rest of the thing before before going into one. So, uh, plushies, pillows, uh, characters, I'm not sure what that is. What is that? Oh, it's craft beer. Oh. Alright. I assume this is where the food gets delivered from, maybe. all closed I think maybe because it's a, a national holiday is it what's well, I think this is this is maybe the arena where you can where they have tournaments maybe L land parties is that still a thing these days maybe somebody can tell me I honestly have no idea because I, I'm not into into this thing why it's games <laughs> are they famous? I, I don't, I've never even heard of them. Uh, I assume they are if they got such a big, um, big setup here. Like, 
All right, let's go and see if I can get a computer. Hopefully I can. I'll be disappointed if I can't, but it's a national holiday. So maybe that's why it's busy. Oh. Some, some, some t-shirts. Uh, is, is this like like competition shirts like do people wear these <laughs> do people wear these while playing computer games uh, and uh, like team shirts maybe is that what this is oh you can see if it is like that's sponsored by a big company um, I don't know what Red Force is KT that's another Another one, mm. the bank, I know the bank here obviously, right let's try to get, let's try to get into the, into the games. Look at how many people there are here. Oh look they got advertising for like, keyboards and stuff. Oh, these are like com computer gaming computers, oh, yeah. hmm. gaming laptop. I assume is a advertising. Oh, yeah. Let's let's try and get a seat. seems to be completely full not a single seat these people also have this room here which is just for smoking well I managed to find myself a seat here it is uh, I had to sign up for their uh, how to create a username and password which I managed to do at the front desk and they gave me a little card showing me how to use the computer in English uh, and I paid, I think it was uh, 2001 for 80 minutes, so that's like, you can hear people uh, gaming. Um, I, th I think it was, it was 2001 for 80 minutes, which is like £1.20 or something, for an hour and a half, which, which is fine. I mean, the problem is I'm not really sure what I'm doing. Um, I thought games were included. There's like a bunch of different things on here, but I, I don't know what... I don't know enough about these games to know what I'm doing. I mean, I click one and then it opens up some stuff, but I, I just don't know what I'm doing. Like, there's, there's some apps. I don't, I, see, they always ask you for username and password, which I don't have. And there's this app here, this is like how much time I've got left, which is uh, 58 minutes. I think one of these is like a food menu. Um, but yeah, as I said, I, I, I have no idea uh, what I'm doing on this. I think I'm just going to like browse the internet because I don't know. I, I paid the money and I can't play any game. I don't know how to play any game. I don't have an account and I don't particularly want to create accounts for all of this stuff. I might actually get Steam and download Counter-Strike because that's a game I know how to play. But it's like 12.8 gigabytes. I mean the internet here is ludicrously fast but if I type in fast.com it's, like, it's like a gigabit. It's insane. But this is going to take some time to download. It's 12 gigabytes. But I, I think Steam, I can go on the I can go on here and browse games. This is in English, luckily, but yeah, as I said, I don't, I don't really. Oh, Sega. Is there any Sega games that are free? Yeah, I'm really showing my naivety here. I thought I could just walk in, sit down, and play a couple of games and leave, but obviously, it's turned into something a bit more complicated than that. 
there's a language barrier. I've tried taking this to English as well. I managed to navigate there, but it just seems to be like perpetually downloading the English language, which which leads me to believe it's not going to download. Oh, hold on. Maybe I can select one of these to play. What's this? Arch Age. You press FIFA and then it just comes up with this. And then, oh. Oh, great. I don't know what that is. Alright, so one of the things I wanted to do was have food delivered to my uh, desk. However, I Google translated that and it says it's break time between 4.40 and 6 o'clock. So I can't do that either. Oh, well. Never mind. At least, uh, to, to be honest, they have got a good setup here. Um, cool desk mat. Uh, the cables go in there. I think this is volume for your headphones. And then there's like USB ports and phone chargers. So I can plug my phone in there and charge it. Uh, there's a headset. <laughs> Comfortable chair. I do like the chair. Um, there's not whole much else to say because I'm not into gaming. If I was into gaming, I uh, I think I would know all of this stuff, but I, I just don't, and it doesn't seem to load anything. Like, even the logos, I don't know what they are. But I assume these are popular games, but I just don't know. I'll tell you what else is interesting here is the gender split. I thought this was just like a a men's only thing, but in here it's probably probably about 60% men, 40% women. And there seems to be a lot of guys that have come here with their girlfriends as well, which uh, I, 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 as I said, I'm really showing my complete lack of knowledge on this subject. I literally feel like a noob right now. Well, this is the food menu. Um, it's coffee, hot chocolate. It's all reasonably priced as well. It's not too expensive. So a strawberry aid is like two pounds twenty or something. Uh, a coffee is two pounds. What else we've got on here? King or Tesla King? Coke is a pound, that's about the same as a convenience store. What else have we got here? Uh, snacks. Ooh, I don't know the price of any of these, but that's about a pound for a pack of Oreos. A pack of crisps, one pound something. The masks as well. Okay. Right. Oh, they haven't got any hot or cooked food. Which is a bit of a shame. I wonder if I can order. Is this is like a glass of water delivered to you. That's pretty cool. Oh, I think this is the bill. So you order all this stuff and then the bill gets totaled up here. Well, I managed to log into some kind of game. I used my username and password from my Facebook. And now when I'm trying to play, it says you have to be 18 and to do some kind of verification which I don't have using a mobile phone or credit card they're not making this easy are they all right I just spent an hour surfing the internet just doing a bit of research for more videos but there's not I didn't play a single game because I couldn't figure it out um, I'm not too fussed about it I might go into another one because these are all over the city and try some else I kind of want to play a bit of counter-strike but anyway Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you found this interesting and don't forget to hit like and subscribe, it really helped me out. And I'll catch up with you guys next time.